Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Another day inside of Foot Birthday, and honestly, another day where we just wish the content was a little bit better. I was hoping it was gonna push forward this week, rise to new levels of better content this week in the second week of Foot Birthday, but still, as of yesterday, it's just still okay. The player pick SBC that we got being an 81 plus with only two options, not a three option player pick, the Quaresma SBC, which I did complete, is nice and it is cool. It's one of the better ones that we've seen. But we need to see that level and even greater throughout the rest of this week to really match those levels of hype that we're looking for and that we know and that we're used to as a part of Foot Birthday. So we'll talk more about maybe some prices dropping on the market today, though, because of a UEFA marquee matchup situation and more about Champions League because Road to the Final Cards are back in action again today with a huge game on the docket with Manchester United and Atletico Madrid playing in that second leg. There's actually a bigger upgrade than you think on the line today based off of how we have now learned EA is kind of doing these road to the final upgrades because neither of those teams have yet to win a game. So we'll talk about a potential plus two upgrade for Alex Tellez or Llorente Road to the Finals based off of that game. A couple more leaked items to talk about. And I had a 1 million coin undercut snipe on an icon yesterday. I got to show you that. That was pretty crazy. I'm trying to sell it right now and take my profit. But if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, make sure to hit a thumbs up on them. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's just dive right into today, right? We talked about some prices dropping, right? Today on Tuesday is UEFA marquee matchups day. This exact same thing happened last week where EA dropped away from marquee matchups, two SBCs highlighting games happening this week in Champions League. Um, and you know, you get some tradable packs back this week. Today, the SBC is supposed to be Ajax versus Benfica and Piemonte Calcio versus Villarreal. Those are going to be the games, I guess, featured in uh, UEFA marquee matchups. Now, the interesting thing about this is that we should be getting our uh, foot birthday swap token via this SBC today, which is the exact same thing that happened last week on Tuesday. Uh, so expect this to be coming out today. And what does that mean for the market? Well, that does mean some tradable pack supply for everything that is in packs. So your SBC fodder, if we don't have a really good SBC today, might take a little bit of a hit in price because of that supply coming out because you know that everybody's going to do UEFA marquee matchups, right? Especially if EA is putting a foot birthday swap token inside of the reward for the first SBC or, or one of the SBCs inside of the group, you know that everybody's going to be going out and doing that SBC. So that is going to bring some pack supply. Probably fodder is going to be impacted the most um, and the low tier of these foot birthday cards. Maybe a guy like Silas, maybe Neuer a little bit. Last week, that this exact same thing happened and it impacted the market a little bit. It did drop some guys like Odegaard. Odegaard was like uh, 625,000 coins last week and he went down under 600. He, went, he dropped like 30,000 coins last week when this came out. So maybe this week you see guys like Sancho get um, dropped in price just a little bit. Um, of course, with United playing in the big game as well, there could be some hype for the Sancho card, even though it's not a live and upgrading item. A lot of times in these big games, what you see is people get excited for their team or whoever plays well. If Man U plays really well today, this Sancho card actually might go up a little bit after that supply just because people get on FIFA after the game and want to use those players that just made them excited watching the game in real life um, in FIFA. So I would, I would just say as a word of warning today, keep an eye out on uh, some of these foot birthdays because there is going to be some pack supply. Just be careful if you've been trading with them. Now, I've, I've been watching some prices tonight and Manuel Neuer kind of is, is low. Uh, a lot of these cards really haven't moved too much. Now, one interesting thing about today on Tuesday is we actually have weekend league rewards. The weekend league is ending in the early hours of today on Tuesday. It's kind of weird um, because EA extended the weekend league. So we're going to actually have a little bit of pack supply from that today as well. But that also could mean some people going out on the market and picking up some cards um, to maybe use in their teams with those extra rewards that they do get. But again, the premise of that UEFA marquee matchups SBC today is probably going to bring some supply to the market. Um, if we don't have any content like at all, uh, which I think we are going to get another player SBC. We'll talk about that here in a second. But SBC fodder would be the only thing that I would think would maybe be impacted a little bit. A slight bit of a fodder drop. But there's also a couple SBCs that we could see today that could counteract that supply that we get. 
Um, but also Flip Birthdays may be dropping a little bit in price as well. Still, if you're wanting to buy these cards for your team, for any of these items, I still think we're holding off until later on in the week. I mean, we've got the Milestone Rewards coming out with Division Rivals this week. We have no idea what's coming with the next promo. We have some big SBCs that could potentially still be coming with Party Bags, Play of the Month in Bappe, Play of the Month in Kunku, which was leaked yesterday. We'll talk about that too. So for all of the uncertainty that is still out there and these cards still being in packs, potential lightning rounds uh, Wednesday, Thursday, like they did last week. I'm going to pull back on these, uh, especially and not recommend buying these yet for a team uh, until later on this week. But speaking about more content that we could see today, um, this is actually not a, an official leak like with a card design or anything. I think we'll get some more information on it today. But uh, Oyarzabal is evidently going to be our next player SBC coming today. Now, it's actually kind of interesting because last week on Tuesday, we had Mav Didi, right? The English player in Ligue 1. Now, Oyarzabal's card, he has a very meta build and they're going to give him a five-star weak foot is what the leak says here for Oyarzabal. He is five foot 11 with a lean body type. He has got outside foot finesse shot and technical dribbler trait. So this card has potential. It really does. But then you see these three-star, three-star, and if they're going to give him a five-star weak foot, um, I mean, I'm assuming they're going to give him a pretty nice boost. This card could be very usable in-game. I think he needs to get a four-star skill boost as well. EA, if you're listening and you want to drop us a nice Oyarza ball, uh, give him a five-star weak foot and give him the four-star skills because without the four-star skills, a lot of people are going to look down on that SBC today. Although some of you guys for your La Liga teams might be like, man, this card could look pretty good, especially if they did like a position change to like a central, maybe a striker or, um, you know, a center attacking mid or something like that. This guy does have some really good stats on his card. So that's why I'm hoping they juice the card up today, maybe increase the, uh, the skill moves as well. And that could be a fun card. But I also think that it could be not very hype uh, because, you know, it's just Oyarza Ball is not seen as a very meta FIFA player as he's never really had cards that have been good enough in the past. And the skill moves in weak foot, I think, put a lot of people off. So I have a glimmer of hope for that today, but I don't have too much hope just being completely honest. So, again, here's actually the SBC from last week. You wait for marquee matchups. This is going to be what is re-upped today, probably with the plus token giving you the uh, knowledge that there is a full birthday swaps token inside of that. Now, also, the mid or prime icon player pick has 16 hours until it is repeatable again. So if you don't know what this means, yes, it expires in eight days. But today on Tuesday, or from when I'm recording this, it's 16 hours. But today on Tuesday, there is going to be another chance to do this mid or prime icon player pick pick SBC. Now, also, I know a lot of us are waiting on the compensation from EA Sports on the issue that happened on Saturday from this past weekend, and they did just tweet about two hours ago, we continue to identify impacted players, and once we've completed our investigation, they will receive the corrected mid-prime icon player pick in game. So this does cement the fact that they are going to compensate people who packed it sounds like icon moments. So if you didn't pack an icon moments from the glitch player picks this past weekend, I don't know if you're going to get compensated. Although I wish and I knew, I wish I could sit here and say, yes, you should be. And you will be, which I think you should be, but I don't think it's going to happen by the way that this reads. So it sounds like this is going to be over pretty soon. It sounds like they're maybe even prioritizing this glitch and this issue over um, what they're maybe doing with the foot birthday team one pack, um, and the team two that cards that were coming out of that pack. So if you open the foot birthday team one pack, I guess just hang tight. They're still working on that, but maybe they want to get this resolved before that SBC becomes, uh, repeatable again today in the game. Also, we have, uh, some pitch notes or not a pitch notes, but we have a title update. that's going to be coming to PS5, PlayStation, Xbox, and Stadia. Um, hopefully that changes some of the gameplay because I played some games yesterday on stream and it was horrendous. It was so bad. It's kind of, I haven't played in, in the last few days, but it is the worst gameplay that I've experienced in a hot minute on FIFA. So that's maybe what's going on with our content today, right? Oyarzabal, mid prime player pick being repeatable again, and you wait for marquee matchups. Keep an eye out there for that. Now let's talk road to the final because just like last week on Tuesday, um, you know, we have a lot of road to the final games. We have two road to the final games in action today, but there's a lot of coins riding on this game today. Manchester United and, of course, Atletico Madrid. First leg, 1-1. One, one. 
was the final score. So it's a draw, right? So neither of these cards, Tellez or Llorente, which they're both actually up a little bit in price right now. Tellez was like 245, 250 yesterday. Now he's 274. People are taking the gamble after United um, kind of, you know, got on Ronaldo's back this last weekend and he scored three goals and beat up on my Tottenham Hotspur squad. And they're kind of riding the United hype after that game. So this Tellez card is up a bit because I think people expect United to win the game today. But also, Urente is up a little bit just because I think this card is he's rare and he's a really good card in game. And some people think, oh my goodness, this dude is up a lot. He was 650 yesterday. Now he's 700,000 coins. So I think that Atletico is seen as in the eyes of most as the um, underdogs today. And as this card is very, very rare, right around 700,000 coins, but doesn't have a lot of supply on this game, the big piece of hype with these cards today is the potential upgrades and their prices moving on the market with those upgrades as the game is going on and after the game as well. Now, once again, I want to draw this to your attention. You're like, yes, these cards could get upgraded because whoever wins today would be qualifying for the next round since this is, is the second leg between these two teams and the first leg was one to one, all right? As it says here, first leg one to one. So neither of these teams have won yet in this knockout stage of the Champions League. Now here, as it says, they're giving out boosts for qualifying the quarterfinals and the first knockout game win after campaign launch. Now, we thought that this just meant in the first game, if they won, they got an upgrade. Nothing else related to wins after that for uh, specific games. But last week, EA Sports upgraded the, 80, the Alejandro Gomez. He was an 87 rated card. Sevilla won 1-0. It was their second leg and he got the upgrade. So that tells us that it's not just the first game or the first leg that counts of the knockout rounds to get that additional win upgrade. So today, since neither Atletico Madrid or Manchester United have won yet, both Tellez and Llorente, whoever wins the game today, would get a plus two upgrade this weekend and that raises the bar for the hype on these cards in game even more imagine this tell us being an 89 rated card 92 pace maybe even 90 passing right 85 defense 84 physicality very needed boost for those stats on his card and then you just think about the boost on this urente card 92 pace 86 physical maybe an 87 dribble 88 uh, passing this card is already cracked in game but imagine how sick this card will be, right? That's where the hype is going to be with these cards today. Whoever scores first, if Manchester United score first, Tellez is probably going to go up to like 300K, maybe even a little bit above that because there's there's so much hype for that card. But I honestly view Atletico Madrid and Llorente a, a little bit like the Gareth Bale situation and Kempembe situation from last week. Now, I know that we don't have a Llorente card like Bale that is a lot cheaper, um, but I, I think that since Llorente is seen as a little bit of the underdog and since Atletico Madrid is a bit of the underdog, the upgrade is not as much priced into this card right now as it is for Alex Tellez. So that's just kind of something to keep in mind. If Atletico Madrid do lose, I think this Marcus Llorente is probably going to drop down around like 100,000 coins, maybe a little bit more. If uh, they win, though, this card might go to like... He, he could go super duper high. I mean, his price range is like 1.7 million coins. And let's let's check his supply to like a million. Could this dude go to a mil? I mean, maybe not quite a million coins, but like high 800s, like three pages to a million coins. That's it, right? There's going to be so much hype for a card like this. He has great links to Suarez, uh, to the Griezmann card that has been out. There's a decent amount of Atletico Madrid links that we have had recently with hype cards that people would like to link them to. So, that is kind of what I'm thinking with this Urente card. I think there could be some big boosts on that card in price. I think there's more potential for a, a big price increase on a Urente if Atletico were to score first and or win the game than there is on a Tellez because so many people have invested in Tellez already. Now, I think that both cards would be great with the upgrade, um, but I, I just think that if United score first, this Tellez is only going to go up a certain amount of coins, whereas that Urente, if Atletico Madrid score first, this Tellez is going to drop like a rock until something else happens in the game uh, or until people think that it gets too low and they'll start investing in it because they think it's too cheap. Um, honestly, post-game, let's say Manchester United lose, right? I'm just trying to throw scenarios out there for you guys so that you're ready and maybe can think ahead when you see these cards moving post-game. If Manchester United end up losing the game, I think this Tellez is probably going to go no lower than 200,000 coins, maybe like 180K, uh, just because 
He is a Brazilian left back in the prem, one of the best left backs in the game, uh, really good links, and it's Alex Tellez, and it's Manchester United. So that's what I would say for that. Again, Urente, I don't think he goes much lower than like 550k if uh, Atletico Madrid were to lose. And of course, whoever wins probably going to go up in price a little bit. So there's going to be crazy movements with those cards. It's going to be so much fun to watch. It's going to be an absolute blast. Now, the other game today, um, of course, is Ajax Benfica. And we only have one live card on the line here. And that is the objective um, Martinez center back card. So rooting for Ajax is probably what most of you guys in FIFA terms are rooting for today because that's the only road to the final card that could get upgraded. So a couple other things just to talk about market and talk shop here at the end of this video. The market just seems really stagnant at the moment, right? I was hoping that this week would kind of excite some things um, with you know some SBCs being better and there's still potential for that today, right? I mean, we had the year in review player pick, which was a nice start to the week um, on Sunday. But um, now it seems things maybe are going to slow down again. We'll have to see if EA drops another gamble pack SBC today, which I could see them doing on one hand. But on the other hand, I could not see them doing because the mid prime is going to come back. They're going to drop a player. They've got UEFA marquee matchups. If they threw some other sort of like upgrade player pick or upgrade pack in there, that'd be a big day of content, especially on a Champions League day. So I honestly am not expecting that today. Um, so I, I think today might be a replica of last Tuesday where it's you have some supply on the market. You maybe have a few of the impacts cards drop and then you see some road to the final movements. And that just kind of, again, makes the market feel like it doesn't have a lot of places to go because also a lot of people right now are there's still a, a decent number of SBCs that are out that people are going to want to go and do. So the focus really isn't on people going and buying cards from the market to try out either, except for some really rare cards, maybe some of the new for birthdays. Icon moments have been really good trades this week, but the market in general just continues to be very stagnant, right? Very stagnant and a lot, not a lot of cards are moving. Now, a couple of things related to that in Kunku that I was just looking at yesterday in FIFA, actually in the game. This is not like a leak where somebody posted it on Twitter. This was in the concepts of the game. There was a 90 rated Nkunku that was labeled player of the month Bundesliga. So later on this week, we expect an Nkunku POTM card. It would be 90 rated. I think the card had 79 defense and 79 physical. Um, and it had like, it was just all plus one upgrades basically on the card. But that is basically EA leaking themselves um, that and Kunku is going to get a player of the month SBC later on this week at some point. So be on the watch for that. And still, we are awaiting the final the leaks or the final word about an Mbappe player of the month because the voting for League One player of the month has ended. And that means that the leaks, the leaked winner of whoever is going to win, which we think it's going to be Mbappe, um, that's going to be announced probably as soon as today. We might have leaks as soon as today uh, as to whether Mbappe is going to get that 94 rated player of the month and if he is going to win or if it's going to be a surprising loss uh, for his card. So just be on the watch today. I think that Mbappe SBC is going to come out on Thursday. So we might have some information on it as soon as today. But the voting is over and it's coming very, very soon. So, you know, if you're still waiting for that with your fodder or stuff like that, hold strong. We're almost there. So just be aware of that. Now, also another headliner item to speak about very quickly is we have another upgrade coming tomorrow on Wednesday for a big name headliner, and that is Vinny Jr. With their 3-0 win yesterday, that is the fourth win in a row for Real Madrid in the league, and that's going to push this Vinny Jr. card to an 89 rated. He is going to be one of the cards, along with Reese James, Reese James and both um, both Reese James and Vinny are getting a plus one because of their win streaks this weekend. So on, or sorry, not this weekend, but on Wednesday. So Wednesday, this Reese James will go up plus one and the Vinny will go up plus one as well, just because of the win streak. So just kind of beware. Um, I, I don't think that the Vinny Jr. card is going to really go up that much after a plus one. Um, after the game today, he went down from like 1.5 mil down to like 1.4 um, lows and is now back up. Uh, I just think there's a, such a huge price gap between this Vinny Jr. and his next special card, which is the 86 rated team of the group stage on the market at 300K. So I just think that's a really, really big gap. And if this card loses a little bit of the upgrade potential with that win streak, since he's up from like 1.3 mil from where he was, I think his price is maybe going to drop off like 100,000 coins, maybe down to the 1.3 range on the PlayStation, you know, even on the Xbox dropping 100K or so potentially, right? A lot of these headliners actually don't go up 
after they get the upgrades because people are just like, it should go up, but then they're always told to sell after the upgrade. And especially with the way the market is right now, I don't feel like there's a astronomical amount of hype for that mini card in general. So that's just kind of my thoughts there. Now, really quickly to end this video, I had an insane snipe yesterday on 93 Moments Eto. I was just searching the 59th as we often do, trying to make some coins and buy some cards. And this Eto popped up for 2.25 million coins. And I'm surprised that I got it because it was literally sitting on the 59th minute for like 15 seconds before it got sniped. And it was in the middle of the day. Everybody was on. It was during the hype hours. Uh, but this Eto card is basically around 3.2 mil. So somebody listed instead of listing for 3.25, they listed at 2.25. I was there at the right time, right place, sniped it. And I'm going to probably go ahead. I was trying to get 3.4 mil for this card and make it a million coins of pure after tax profit. But it's probably going to end up being around like 950K or so maybe somewhere around 900 highs so almost a million coins of pure profit on that etto card crazy absolutely insane so i got super duper lucky with that that helps out the coin balance a bunch and i'm, I'm absolutely stoked with that but i had to update you guys on that um, if you did not see it live on the twitch stream um that is where that happened and that's why if you see my coins go up by about a million you're like nate where's your coins come from that flip right there so that's going to be the video for today boys big day with champions league we're going to have probably you know, we'll see how it is content-wise in FIFA. If they drop something sick, I hope the Oyarza ball looks pretty dope. My my hopes aren't that high, though, just being completely honest, unless you're a La Liga fan and you really love that card. Uh, I, I didn't talk about Karajma. Let me just talk about this really, really fast. I think Karajma is super-duper dope. Um, I've, I've used him as a super sub. I need to change my chem style on it because I'm using him as a winger and I don't need as much of the shooting boost or I don't need the pace and the physical boost using him on the wing. I need to boost that dribbling up a little bit more, I think. So I might swap up the chem style. Maybe maybe I'll do an engine. I don't know. But I think this is a top, top, top five full birthday SBC just because it's a FIFA legend, cool card, and definitely the best card he's going to get all year. So for 70,000 coins, crafting a few player picks, even though they're not the best this week, I think that's a W. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts on the content and what's going to happen on the market today. It should be a lot of fun. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. Of course, subscribe if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.